Hello and welcome to highlights of stage one of the women's tour for 2022. The eighth edition of the race, stage one from Colchester to Bury St Edmunds, 142.1 kilometres, 97 riders from 17 teams, including 15 riders from the home nation, Great Britain, took to the start. Two Skoda Queen of the Mountains points and two intermediate sprints awaited the riders along the route. Brantham Hill was the first objective of the day, 500 metres, averaging 4.2%. Tiff Cromwell looking to lead out defending champion Elise Chabe in the Queen of the Mountains classification. But as they came to the summit, it was Christine Majerus that took the four points ahead of Chabe, Megan Jastrab, while Marie Lene of FDJ, Nouvelle Aquitaine for Churisco took the one point. Holbrook and the first intermediate sprint would await the riders with 100.9 kilometres to go. It was Lacole Wahoo's Micah Vanderdown that took a three a bonus points and seconds just ahead of Maria Julia Confalonieri and Alison Jackson. On to Bilston for the second climb of the day. 800 metres, averaging 5.4%. And it was Cassia Nubiadoba, the winner in 2017, that was looking to try and set up Shabe for the sprint at the top. But Christine Majerus of SD Works clearly has her objective set on that green Queen of the Mountains jersey. It would end the day with eight points. The first big attack of the day and the one that really stuck was British rider Danny Shrewsbury of the home team Cam's Basso. She had built an advantage of almost a two minutes when the race, unfortunately due to an incident ahead of the race that needed the emergency services to get through, the race was neutralized and brought to a pause. The best riders did their best to keep themselves warm. Our team, Coop High Tech Products, showed their best dance moves. The race would then be restarted with the gap established for the leader after a kilometre and a half neutral rollout. It would be a tall order on a day that really was designed for the sprinters for Shrewsbury to hold off the bunch after the restart. Her gap she held between 53 seconds and about 45. But with the power of the likes of Ellen Von Dyke on the front, the Cam's Basso rider was caught just inside 15 kilometres to go. It was then all about the sprint finish. Trek Segafredo with Audrey Cordon Rago on the front on the left, looking to set up for Chloe Hosking. But a technical run in towards the finish, unfortunately, took out Lorena Weavis, Corin Lebecki, and Barbara Gorishki with their teammates. This left Sofia Bertizzolo, Elena Cicchini, and Clara Caponi to fight it out for the stage win. And it belonged to Caponi of FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine for Juroscope, who took her first big victory as a pro on the opening day of the women's tour. First yellow jersey of this year's race belongs to Caponi. Her first a big victory as a pro rider, the talented track rider, really comes of age with that victory. Confirmation of your top 10, Clara Capone takes it from Sofia Bertizzolo and Elena Cicchini with Fidanza Barnes, Duval Gaskin, Eastland Borghese and Vander Down, your top 10. The general classification going into stage two, Clara Capone now leads Sofia Bertizzolo by four seconds with Micah Vander Down up in third third after those bonus seconds on the intermediate sprints. Cicchini leads the next in six seconds down in fourth. 